Hey, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Signal Messenger on an Android mobile phone and on a Windows 10 desktop. Now, in order to install it on Windows 10, you're going to pair it with your mobile phone. So we'll have to install the mobile phone version first. So let's get started. In today's example, I'm going to be using a Pixel 2 phone running Android 11. So here we are, and we're going to go into the Google Play Store by clicking on the icon. And up at the top, we'll have a search. So in here, we're just going to type in Signal. And you'll see that Signal Private Messenger comes up as one of the options. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Install. It's not a huge file. It might take a minute or so for it to download onto your phone. And then we can tap on open and it's going to launch the program. So we get the welcome screen here. And the first thing that we want to do is click on continue. And what it's going to want to do is have access to your contacts. So we can click select continue and allow it to have access to our contacts. This is how it's going to get the names of all your friends and their phone numbers. So we can allow that to make phone calls as well. Signal allows you to make encrypted phone calls when you have this installed. It's going to need a phone number and it's going to be the phone number of your device. You do require a phone number to get this working and it needs to be installed on the mobile phone. We're going to go ahead and type in our number and now it's going to give us a verification text message and it's going to be a six digit number that we get text and I'll just go ahead and enter that in here. And it's just going to authenticate and there we go. And now it's going to ask you to enter in a pin. Now this is one level of protection that it has and it'll periodically ask you for this pin number. So once you type it in here, you definitely don't want to forget it. Now we're gonna enter in our name. These are just optional settings. You can put in whatever you want here. Uh, for the first name, I'm just gonna type in Geekrar. And once you have that completed, you can just click on next and it's installed. So the Signal app is pretty basic. It looks exactly like any other messenger where you can click on the option to create a new message. Now you can enter in the name of your friend. You can also then just uh, click on the number pad, the number pad on the top right hand corner. And then you can actually just enter in their phone number and then you can communicate via text or if they have Signal installed, they can also just message back and forth using the Signal messenger. So let's take a quick look at the settings. So first of all, in settings, we have notifications. When you go inside notifications, you have the option to enable and disable the sound, um, vibration, and you can just disable notifications altogether. Now, Signal is known for its end-to-end -end encryption and privacy. So let's take a look at the privacy options in here. So when we select on this, so the first option in here is screen lock, which will unlock the messenger using your fingerprint or pin number. Then we have screen security. When this is enabled, it'll disable screenshots from being taken within the app. Incognito keyboard, when that is enabled, it disables all keyboard learning options. And then we'll scroll down to communication where the first option is always relay calls. Now you can, ex you can relay your phone calls through the Signal server so you're not revealing your IP address. Next is read receipts. If you disable this, people will not know when you've read the message and type indicators when this is enabled it shows when you're typing so you can disable that as well as we go down you're going to pass the sealed sender so it allows you to send and receive encrypted messages that may not come from your contacts but you can still receive them and lastly here you can change your pin now the pin is something that's going to be periodically asked for you to um, verify who you are when you're using signal messenger and it's an added layer of security that a lot of users prefer to keep enabled so if we go back over into the settings window, then we have uh, appearance and appearance. You can just change the theme. You can either have light mode or dark mode or system default. And then you can also change the language. So here we have link devices. Now link devices is going to be part of the next step. And the next step is to have that installed on your desktop. So you can send and receive messages on signal using your windows 10 PC. So we're going to jump over to our Windows 10 computer and over here at the desktop, we're going to open up our browser. Head over to Google and then we'll type in signal app. And signal.org is the official URL of the application. So we'll click on that. And inside here, 
we're going to click on get signal now we already have the mobile version and over here is the desktop we can scroll down and we can click on download for windows so it's going to download the file it's a pretty small file we'll click on it and we'll open it up and allow it to launch the executable file here and it'll download onto our computer and when it's completed it's going to want to scan a qr code This is how it's going to link. We have the option here to link your phone to it. This is the only way to get on your desktop is to link it. So we're going to jump back over to our cell phone and we're going to go to link devices in the settings menu. So you see it right down here, link devices. There's a blue plus button that we're going to click on and it's going to want to allow access to your camera, which we're going to allow. And over here, we're going to take our camera and scan the QR code that was generated on our Windows 10 PC. So we have an option here. It says that it's linked devices, so we can check it to allow the link. And once we click on this, we have approved it. And now the desktop has authorization to use the Signal Messenger. So we're going to give it a name and you can give it any name that you want here. This is just to identify your Windows 10 PC. Uh, we're going to call it Geekwar and then click on finish linking. Now, if you have this on multiple computers, you can call it multiple different names so you can identify in the app what is what. So here is the desktop app. It's very similar to the Android application on your phone where you can just type in the name of the contact and send them messages. Uh, you can select their names in the list here. Uh, we have nobody right now, but you could normally have a list of all your contacts and you could select and chat through there. Uh, we'll just do one quick example. We're going to use a quick example of using the note to self option, uh, which is built into the signal app. And then in here, I will just treat it as if it's somebody else and type in, uh, something here, and then you can just hit enter. This is another test message. Okay. So click enter, and then you can see that you send and receive with the options of read receipts. So it'll light up these little read receipts when someone reads the message. Um, and that's pretty much it. This is how you install signal on an Android phone and a Windows 10 PC. Again, to run it on Windows 10, you do need to have it active on a phone. And that's everything that you need to do. Signal is an excellent alternative to WhatsApp. Another great program that you can use besides Signal is one called Telegram. Telegram is also a very secure instant messenger that you can use on your phone and on your desktop like we did today. If you're looking for ways to get that installed, Check the description and we have links in there on how to install Telegram on a Windows 10 PC. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.